night to organize labor, including teacher unions. The Supreme Court ruled five to four that government workers cannot be forced to contribute to unions to help pay for collective bargaining, saying it's a violation of the First Amendment to force them to support unions whose messages go against their beliefs. Labor leaders say this ruling will cost unions millions of dollars. Tonight, Selena Lewis tells us how the ruling will impact public employee unions here at home. Selena? We're not going to be defeated by this decision. Um, we're continuing to stand up and will continue to stand up for educators and everyone else who works in a school district um, and for our students, you know, for years to come. New York State United Teachers say they're disappointed but not surprised by the Supreme Court's decision. Earlier this year, changes were made to the Taylor Law that guarantee unions time to meet with new hires. Those regulations were put in place, anticipating the court's ruling would go this way. We'll see how many people end up actually withdrawing from the union. Like I said, those new regulations that were just passed are going to make that substantially more difficult to do. Um, but I, I could see it having a very big impact on New York. The court's opinion centered on First Amendment rights, saying those who didn't wish to be a part of a union shouldn't be obligated to pay agency fees. The court said that you can no longer be compelled to support a cause that speaks and acts for you. Um, if you don't personally believe in it. Labor and employment attorneys say it's hard to understate how wide of an impact this ruling could have. Well, in New York, there's over 2 million public sector employees, which is, is very large. I think only California comes even close. So for New York, this is going to be a big deal. Now, it's unclear what this could practically look like at this point or if massive numbers of public sector employees represented by unions will actually drop out or if they decide remaining a unit is what's in their best interest. But it does open the door to massive potential changes in the labor landscape. Maureen? Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Selena. There will be much more on this Supreme Court ruling coming up on the CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor at 630.